Buenas noches, mi nombre es Maritza Raimondi y tengo el placer de compartir con ustedes unas poesías. En esta ocasión voy a leerles unos poemas que he escrito en inglés eh, y espero que les guste. El tema eh, de hoy en realidad es acerca del dolor. 19 anniversaries. I looked at the sparkles coating the perfect images and cursive words, wondering how did it ever get this bad? The shelves filled with messages I no longer believed or understood to be mine. I simply couldn't find the perfect card. I stood still, my feet firm on the ground, determined to make sense of it all and find meaning to the void. My imperfect hands touching the edge of each well-rehearsed and scripted message. My eyes quickly glancing at the irony of it all. Anxiety at the thought of failure began to fill my lungs and I felt momentarily defeated. Desperately trying to find meaning, I found instead undeniable truth. The sadness was palpable and the anger present in the corner of my eyes glistening with the kind of pain that you feel deep within your soul. Twelve hours had passed since our last uneventful morning encounter, and yet the words remained unspoken. Suddenly, like a flood, the levels of my consciousness drowned my ability to feel any kind of joy. Like the heading above the greeting card, it was clearly blank inside. For what if not a memory to hang my dreams from, and distant like the moon, I felt invisible and confused. Slowly the thought of forever disappears, replaced by intermittent glimpses of occasional laughter. The silence is as loud as your indifference and like an oil painting, the brushstrokes are long and intentional. No expectations of element of surprise, no special signature punctuated by heart shapes to remind me there was once a heartbeat. The weights of commitment and expectation anchored their guilt at each side of reason. And once again, I fall victim to fear and shame. My strength is nulled by the lack of effort, the choice as clear like the future ahead. No need for reminders of color wrapping paper, no need of acknowledgement at this stage of the game. The silver strands of hair are firmly making their debut and second chances feel like eight tracks or vinyls 45, archaic and nostalgic. As for today, it is truly just a number that bears no weight until death do us apart. The second poem is called Rain. I love the sound of the rain against the roof of my car, the drops that cover my windows as they slowly slide down the side of the doors. There's something soothing about the noise and beautiful about the clarity of the reflection of the water. Intentionally, I allow the windshield to fully embrace me with magic. The idea that once in a while you can be cleansed even when the thick dirt presses firmly against you. I slowly turned the wipers on knowing that the side by side motion will push it all away. Like distractions that are welcomed but not anticipated. I am mesmerized by the endless possibilities of new beginnings as the green light lets me know it's time to push forward into a new destination.